Central Vista project. There were images that came in of Prime Minister Modi visiting the new parliament building yesterday. About seven images that gave you a glimpse of what the new parliament building looks like. The Congress, however, isn't impressed. You had Jairam Ramesh almost immediately after lashing out, referring to this as a vanity project of the Prime Minister and even referring to the Prime Minister as a dictator saying that every dictator wants an architectural legacy left behind. He's also called this a colossal waste of money. Remember, it's almost 800, nearly 800 crores that's been spent on this new parliament building. But amid that, the BJP has hit back, countering the Congress on this narrative that this is a pet project and a dictator leaving his architectural legacy behind. Here's what the BJP has said. कांग्रेस पार्टी ने स्वयं इस नए पार्लियामेंट के प्रोजेक्ट को शुरुआत करने का काम 2010 से 12 के बीच में किया था स्पीकर मीरा कुमार का दफ्तर से पत्र भी जारी हुआ था स्वयं जयराम रमेश जी ने ये लेख लिखकर कहा था कि नया पार्लियामेंट बहुत आवश्यक है क्योंकि पुराना पार्लियामेंट बहुत डेंजरस हो चुका है आज वही जयराम रमेश और कांग्रेस पार्टी जिस चीज की शुरुआत उन्होंने की थी उसके विपक्ष में खड़े हैं क्योंकि आज भारत को एक आत्मनिर्भर पार्लियामेंट मिल रहा है आज भारत का पार्लियामेंट बन रहा है और शायद प्रथम परिवार को इसमें करप्शन करने का कोई मौका नजर नहीं आ रहा है यहाँ पार्लियामेंट देश की जरूरत है क्योंकि जब डिलिमिटेशन होगा उसके बाद वहां पर संख्या बढ़ी तो उसके लिए जरूरत है प्लस जो पुराना पार्लियामेंट है वो सिस्मिक जोन के अंदर आता है कल खतरा हो सकता है कल बिल्डिंग के ऊपर दिक्कत आ सकती है और वैसे भी खूब सारे जो बिल्डिंग्स हैं बाकी जो जो ऑफिस हैं वो उसमें हैं जो कि किराए पर हैं वो सबके सब एक जगह हो जाएंगे तो इसमें क्या बोलेगी परंतु मैंने कहा ना कि जयराम रमेश वह बोलते हैं जो उनके सुबह उनको उनके उनके मालिक उनको बोल देते हैं वो और पीटी की तरह सब कुछ वापस आ बोलते हैं सी एफ कांग्रेस एम पी जयराम रमेश राइट नाउ रेफरिंग टू दिस प्रोजेक्ट एज अ वैनिटी प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर बट हियर्स द इंटरेस्टिंग वे जयराम रमेश अर्लियर मेनी इयर्स अगो हाईलाइटेड द नीड for exactly this for a brand new parliament building so let's in fact show you exactly what jairam ramesh said back in 2012 versus what he's saying now so in 2012 jairam ramesh had said we badly need a new parliament building cut to today he refers to this as a personal vanity project now he also went on to say that the reason we need a new parliament building is because the current one isn't functional is outdated and this is exactly what the bjp says when they defend the central vista project saying the current parliament building is outdated jairam ramesh agreed with that in 2012 today he says that this is nothing but modi as a dictator wanting to leave behind his architectural legacy it doesn't stop there in 2012 jairam ramesh said that today's representatives need new facilities now he says that this entire new parliament building is a colossal waste of money so you juxtapose these two comments from 2012 to now you've got jairam ramesh taking two completely different stands i have polomi saha who tracks the bjp very very closely polomi good evening you've got attempts right now by the congress to say that this is nothing but a waste of money uh, this is a vanity project for the prime minister the bjp of course is responding that that's not the case the central vista itself has found itself in a lot of political controversies but the bjp of course uh, akshita over there saying that this has even reached the courts the delhi high court had said that you know this is a project which is the need of the hour there was a petition which said that you know during the pandemic why are we wasting money building this new building and you know the whole central vista project as well but the fact remains that the delhi high court had dismissed that plea it was appealed in the supreme court and the supreme court had dismissed that plea as well saying the delhi high court order stands so it has reached the courts as well the court has found it necessary and something which didn't need to be conflated at that point of time with the pandemic and where the government was spending money the bjp of course now taking pot shots at the congress and saying that you call it colossal waste of money right now but this as akshita you were pointing out earlier as well was something that jairam ramesh thought of as priority he thought that the parliament building as it stands right now the old building at the point of time that he was speaking uh, was completely outdated the right. facilities were not very functional and hence you needed a new parliament and this new parliament building itself was signed off on by former lok sabha speaker meera kumar so this is a project which started in the upa era now of course uh, the bjp says that this is being raised because uh, uh, the congress fears 
that the BJP and Narendra Modi will okay. walk away with the credit for this new parliamentary, uh, for this new parliament building. But the BJP is saying this is not Narendra Modi's building. This is not his vanity project. This is a building which right. will house all members of parliament from all spectrum. Everyone who is elected by the people of uh, India in the Lok Sabha will be, of course, part of uh, this new parliament uh, building, as will those who are nominated to the Rajya Sabha. Okay. All right, Paula May, thank you for getting us all of those details. There's a lot of curiosity over what the new parliament building looks like, particularly now with these images also coming to the fore. So let's sum up for you what the features of the new parliament building looks like. It's been built at a cost of 800 plus crores. But besides that also, what exactly are the kind of features that the new parliament building has? It's triangular shaped, so a bit different really from the current parliament building. There have been a lot of comparisons between this one and the Pentagon. It's built with a lifespan of 150 years, said to be earthquake resistant and also uh, kept in mind for all natural calamities to ensure it resists that. It has, in fact, a seating capacity at this point, if you look at Lok Sabha, 888 seats, 384 in the Rajya Sabha. So that's, of course, a lot because it will ensure that you can house a lot more members of parliament. There are three national symbols that are etched in different parts of the parliament building. Which national symbols are we talking about? The lotus uh, is uh, uh, present in one part of the building, the peacock as well as the banyan tree. All these three national symbols have been etched in different ways in the new parliament building. Now, what's very important to highlight here, and this is the complaint that most members of parliament had, which is that the old parliament building was outdated, wasn't technologically up there. And this particular new parliament building boasts of some modern tech facilities, audio-visual communication systems that keep in turn uh, with the current times. Uh, there will be a separate lounge also for members of parliament. They will also be VIP lounges in the new parliament building.